and I guess the transition from student government president to uh, crime lord is not something that you would expect. Elliot Higgins is the current UISG president. Wow. He'd never heard of the West Liberty native now called the Casino Czar in Mexico. Rojas Cardona's family moved to the United States when he was a baby. He and eight siblings were involved in sports, clubs, and church activities. They were even lifeguards at the town pool. He was elected UI Student Senate President in 1989 and organized a first-of-its-kind conference of student government leaders from all Big Ten universities. We actually just attended a Big Ten student government conference okay. at Penn State. Um, and it, it was wonderful. And to think that he was, you know, a, a big part of how, how this thing got started, how he had such successful speakers come, uh, it's just really hard to believe. But the good times were ending for Rojas Cardona. In April 1990, a state audit showed student government misspent student fees on lavish meals, alcohol, and rented Cadillacs. In 1992, he was convicted of theft and forgery in Iowa. He also got caught smuggling 17 pounds of marijuana across the U.S. border. Facing prison time, likely followed by deportation, Rojas Cardona is believed to have fled the country in 1994. Few people had heard much about him until August, when a 2009 diplomatic cable from the former U.S. Consul General Bruce Williamson was released on WikiLeaks. The document says Rojas Cardona and his brother Arturo are the largest casino operators in Monterey. Sources told the U.S. Consulate that Pepe was believed to have orchestrated the assassination of a rival casino owner. The brothers also had connections to violent drug cartels and made illegal donations to political candidates, according to the document. Hello? Rojas Cardona's father, who lives in Iowa City, did not want to talk to KCRG about his son. No, I wish, that, I wish you people forget about it, you know. You, said you heard every time you talked about it. You heard every time you talked about it. I'm sorry. Today, the, the, there's a lot more oversight with regard to what you can and cannot spend. Higgins says the story is a lesson in how far a person can fall. You know, a student government president is not absolute power, but it is, there is some, and it, it looks like it had a negative effect on this guy. In Iowa City, I'm Erin Jordan for KCRG TV9 News.